Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Where's Waldo for the NES, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, your number one source for video game walkthroughs. Alright, Where's Waldo, released in 1991 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The product was loosely, and I'm going to tell you this right now, loosely, based on the book of the same name. Now the player's goal is to find Waldo in various pictures in order to progress through the game. As you can see right here, there's different skill levels. Now in practice skill level, there is uh, no time limit, but you can only select a couple of number of levels before, you know, it, it ends and you're kind of forced to choose the harder modes. Now let's talk about the time limits in the harder modes. Easy, you have a total of 9 minutes and 59 seconds. Medium, 6 minutes, 59 seconds. And hard, you have 4 minutes and 59 seconds. Why they didn't round up, I don't know. Whatever, man. Now, the harder the skill level you pick, the larger the area the player has to scroll through in order to find Waldo. Each time the game is played, also, Waldo will be moved to a new location in the scene. So there's really no cheating. Now, Where's Waldo was, of course, a series of children's books created by British illustrator Martin Hanford, and uh, actually originally went by the name Wally, at least in the UK and Australia. So, you know, our, our friends across the pond and down under actually would call this dude Wally. That doesn't sound right to me. Wally? And maybe Waldo doesn't sound right to them, but hey, what can you, what can you do? But anyway, Waldo really picked up in popularity in the 80s and 90s, and there was a Where's Waldo uh, TV animated series in 1991 with Townsend Coleman as the voice of Waldo. And uh, since 2009, there's actually been rumors of uh, a live action film being uh, produced, which, okay, good luck with that. Why not? Hollywood makes movies about everything, so why not Waldo? Do it. Do it. I'm telling you to do it. But anyway, back, you know, when I was in grade school, uh, I kind of, I was in the Waldo. I, I had the first couple of books in the uh, series. I, uh, I think I had the first three primary books, and uh, those were Where's Waldo, published in 1987, followed by Where's Waldo Now, published in 1988, and then the third one being The Great Waldo Search, published in 1989. And then by then, you know, I kind of lost interest in Waldo. He was a cool dude. He was all right, man. You're still okay, Waldo. It's just that this game is fucking terrible, by the way. In case you haven't figured that out by now, but we're going to get into that. Anyway, uh, oh, I hit select for that. Okay, cool. Practice, easy, medium, and hard. Ugh, and I'm probably not going to do them all. Well, let's just uh, show you practice. Just kind of get you prepared here. So like I said, there's about several levels that Waldo will travel from and to in order to complete his goal. What's his goal? What's his main objective of beating this game? Well, I'm not going to give it away for you. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. Anyway, like I said, this is practice and we don't have to worry about time limits. Buka! Childhood ruined! This is terrible! What the hell am I looking at here? Okay, Waldo, the, the dude in the uh, blue jeans and the striped shirt with the red and the white and the kind of the hat. And sometimes didn't he have a cane, right? And, uh, of course, the glasses. But anyway, I've already found him. I found him already, but I'm, I'm not... You, you, you do it. You do it. Go ahead. Knock yourselves out. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad, huh? And by the way, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that kind of resemble Waldo. And in the later skill levels, it just kind of gets ridiculous. And you're like, what? What? And then I swear to God, in the harder level modes, Waldo's clothes change color. I've seen it. It is, it's bullshit. I don't know what they're thinking. I guess that's part of the harder modes. I don't know, man. In the books, it wasn't like that. They didn't change his wardrobe like that. At least not in the books that I recall. Hey, who knows what they did later on. But this is back in, you know, the 80s, once again. 80s and 90s, this game came out in. So, I don't know. Have you, have you found him yet? He's right down here. And by the way, the control of this thing is really kind of sloppy as shit really bad so anyway you pick them right you hear the chime so we're going to the forest now by the way you know what was cool about the waldo books i'm gonna let you guys knock yourselves out and see if you can find waldo the great thing about the Waldo books is, you know, at least as a kid, you know, of course you had that imagination, the, the, the big imagination back then as a kid, and, you know, not only would you, you know, it was fun to find Waldo in the books and be like, oh, oh, there he is, hey, it's kind of challenging, but, you know, not only that is, uh, it was cool about the surrounding 
characters and like what they were doing, what they were up to. And sometimes there was these like really cool, you know, looking events that certain characters were, you know, doing. Sometimes a disaster was taking place. Sometimes people were fighting, you know, this and that. And it was kind of uh, creative and really cool, actually. So anyway, have you found Waldo yet? He's right over there. But this, I bring that up because this does not give us that at all. And if I was in my 1991 kid brain, I would be not enjoying this in the imagination stance at all. So anyway, this is a little different here. What's, what are we doing here? What am I, uh, how am I supposed to find Waldo? It's pitch black. Oh, okay, thank you. Now I understand. I'm supposed to kind of move this around and kind of locate him. And once I do, I, I hit the button. Up. Oh, damn, man. Oh, get here. There you go. So now you have him selected. This is a timer. We'll talk about that later. But you move them here and click the button. Anyway, since that's practice mode, that's as far as you can go. Uh, to see the rest of the game, you have to select all the other modes. And I'll be doing that right here by selecting easy mode. Why easy and not medium and hard? Well, because fuck that, man. I am not in the mood to get pissed off here. This terrible game. Maybe we'll get pissed off later. So anyway, if you hit start right away, though, um, you can save a couple of seconds. If not, you will stay on the title right there and watch the timer click down. So why the hell would you do that? Why would they even give you the option? It's ridiculous. So anyway, now we do have a timer. If you look all the way up top, you can see the thing ticking down. And since, uh, once again, this is easy mode, you know, the screen, it doesn't scroll. This is the whole thing right here. So let's see, folks. If you found Waldo, I found him. Uh, what do we got here? What's our scenario? You know, we're at the train tracks, craziness. I mean, it just looks so gray, lifeless, you know, there's not a lot of, okay, what's this, like the policeman guy right here? I'm, try I'm trying to get it in the square, there we go. Policeman, he's like yelling at the little kid, I don't know what that's about. Uh, this guy has no head, I think. What, what is what is that, is, is he waiting next to a, a sign of some sort? I don't know, anyway, Waldo's down here. Now, if I were to select a certain character on one of the stages and it wasn't Waldo, I would hear some sort of bleh, bleh, or whatever, and I would lose some of my time from the clock, and that's a no-no, so you want to be sure when you uh, select Waldo that it is, in fact, Waldo. Let's demonstrate. Oh, no good. Anyway, Waldo's right there. But, you know, I'm kind of looking around. I, I, I want to see what's going on here. Let's see. We're kind of like in the forest. Uh, we're cutting the log, man. We're going camping. Oh, look, it's the Incredible Hulk down here. What's he up to? Hello there. You getting pissed off, Hulk? I'm getting pissed off, too, because this game's terrible. What the hell's this guy doing over here? He's bending over. I don't know what he's waiting for. What the hell? Is that a fucking unicorn? Jesus Christ, I don't I don't understand it at all. Let's see, what else can we find in this place? This guy's pretty happy. Uh, there's a lot of weird happy dudes here. Hmm. I'm looking around for anything else that's kind of funny. I don't really see anything. This place sucks. I don't know what that white thing is. What is that thing? What is that? Okay, anyway, where did Walt... I had him. Oh, there he is. I think I found him and then lost him. We're running out of time, man. We gotta get to the cave. And we already know what this is about and what we have to do, so... Good stuff. Okay, now we're back at the cave. We're at 7.30. Waldo, where are you? Ugh. Like, the I can't explain. It just gets, like, stuck. Every time I hit the button, it kind of... There you go. So anyway, if you move Waldo over here, you can get some more time added to your little counter there. And now we're off to the fairgrounds. I think. Is that next? Is that almost catchy, or is it just me? Hmm. All right, so we're at the fairgrounds. This looks so boring. I don't know, it's just random people, and they, they use them over and over again. Like, the guy right there is also right there. I don't know. Laziness, of course. Could you imagine if they, uh, you know, took the same skill level as the books and just kind of plopped it right in here? It would be kind of cool, you know? Searching for Waldo. Of course, you could just make it a book. So why make this the Where's Waldo the video game, you know? Why not make it, at least make an attempt of some stupid platformer Waldo video game? Does that make sense? No, not really. But does this make sense? No, it's all stupid. You might as well make some shitty platformer instead of, like, this kind of crap, you know? Sometimes, hey, it could have worked. You never know. Anyway, have you guys found Waldo? 
What's this dude? Look at this guy. See? Look. You, the red pants. Do you see the red pants? That's Waldo? He's in red pants now. Does that make any sense at all? Not to me. That's bullshit. Oh, what's going on with the... What is this? The, the end of the Earth over there? It's like the space is kind of coming in there. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there soon, you know? Anyway, here we are uh, downtown. We've, we've taken it downtown. Uh... Let's see here. I think I've found Waldo. Pretty sure I found him. Have you guys found him yet? Still searching? Yeah, I think that's him in the back of a car. By the way, that is highly illegal. What are you doing, Waldo? You're gonna get hurt, man. What are you doing throwing your arms up in the air? Is he scared like, oh shit, I just went back in here to take a nap and get away from this goddamn horrible game and now the driver came back and I'm out of control. I'm gonna fall over this thing. Where is he like screaming, yippee, this is a lot of fun. Yay, this game is great. It's not great. It's not. It's fucking horrifying. Anyway, here we go. The subway. Waldo on a subway. All right. Oh, okay. So this, this is probably the most really weird, stupid part of the game. The object here is to collect the glasses, Waldo's glasses, and Waldo himself, and not make contact with the wizard, because if you do that, then the wizard will drain your time. And then you have to get to the other arrow on the other side. And the control here is kind of weird. Oh, he was just taking my, uh... I was trying to show and he kind of just plopped on me and kind of screwed me up. Anyway, now we're moving on to the castle and then the launch pad? What's up with that, Waldo? What's going on here? So let's look around here. All right, so this is this is almost cool. At least it, it could have been cool if they had like more of the castle and if, and if these dudes were like battling to the death. I mean, I see a knight right there, but what is he doing? All these people aren't even like knights. I don't know what the hell they're supposed to be. Anyway, this is, <laughs> hey, look at the little swamp monster there. Look, look at this guy. What is he doing? <laughs> anyway, Waldo, I think, is talking to his, like, other half? Is that, like, his brother there? Look at that. And they're, like, walking right into each other. That's kind of weird. Anyway, there's Waldo. And now, at last, we're going to the launch pad. Where we can send Waldo to the moon and get him the fuck away from us. So what's the point of this? All right, we'll hit the button. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay. All right, well, I guess we're supposed to line these all up so they're all Waldo. Yeah, get three Waldos all lined up, hit the button, blast off, bitch. I guess we'll start with uh, the middle one first since it's the fastest. Oh, fuck me. So let's just fuck this. I got the lady with the fucked up eyes. Look at, look at that dude. Anyway, so no go. So we just try it again. All right, this time let's try and do it. Son of a bitch. Okay, that time I actually tried, and I failed. Let's go again. Come on, man, there's a minute and 43 seconds left. We gotta get Waldo out of here, man, or all is lost. This is no good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Damn it, no! No! By the way, it's really slow moving the cursor here. Okay, come on, Waldo. I don't like you, and you don't like me, but let's make this work. We gotta make this work. Fuck! <laughs> okay. I am not good at the matching of the people. It's moving too quick for me, man. Okay, let's let's really concentrate here. Time is running out, man. This thing's ticking down. 102, 101? Oh, shit, man. We have less than a minute. We can't lose this now. We've come too far to blow it. Okay. Yes! There you go. Whew. This is tough. That would be a shame to blow it now. The clock is ticking. Time's running out. Oh, man. In under a minute, we got it. So there goes Waldo. We have touchdown on the moon. Way to go, Waldo. All right. So, yeah. all right. There is a... Nice outline, Waldo. There's Waldo. He's on the moon now. Nice space outline. So anyway, Waldo reached the moon, and then I have no fucking idea what he's supposed to be doing there. I mean, he's on the moon. What's he doing? So anyway, 
we beat the game, if we hadn't beat the game, if I didn't get the timer, you know, down all the way, if I got the timer down all the way and all hope was lost, then it would have uh, shown my progress, you know, to the launch pad, to the subway, you know, wherever I failed, you know, to complete the mission. But I didn't. Got it all the way up to the moon, you know, blast off, good stuff, bullshit. This game is terrible. Thank you for kind of ruining Waldo forever for me. What do you think about that, guys? Anyway, that is Where's Waldo for the NES. Great stuff. Nope, it sucks. want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Where's Waldo. I will see you guys next time. I am out.